<laughs> My kid. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. My kids are home. I had errands to run, so I wasn't able to record until after they got home from school. <laughs> One of my kids is upstairs with their bedroom door open and laughing at something on YouTube. I don't know if I should tell her to close her door or not, because I find it quite humorous. We'll just go, go with it. Hi, sorry about that. This is floss tube number 12. I'm Sarah. This is I Swear I'm Stitching. Um, nice to see you again. If you're coming for the first time, hi. Um, I've had a few uh, new subscribers. Hi. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's because Janet fucking Jabber mentioned me on her floss tube. I love that lady. She's genuinely sweet and uplifting and funny and her stitching is beautiful. So if you guys don't watch Janet Jabber, you should be. And I'm just like, first off, when she subscribed to my channel and left a comment, I was like, whoa, head blown. And then when she mentioned me on her floss tube, big head blow. Anyways, this is my floss tube where I talk about stitching mainly because that's my craft, main craft of choice. I also, quilt knit on occasion. My qu quilting bug had amped up pretty bad, pretty bad, not badly, pretty high the past few weeks, um, but it's starting to ebb. Of course, now that I've promised my son a quilt, it's starting to ebb away. But anyways, let's jump into stitching. Uh, it's going to be a pretty boring video, probably pretty short. I was pretty monogamous. Probably should take a shot every time I say pretty. Um, let's see. So I have some finished objects though, so that's exciting. So first off, I have my, this was for Whipco, and the goal was to work on it for 10 days, and I finished it instead. I don't think even, I even got 10 days on it. It is my Prairie Schooler Santa 2007. It's on 18 count Ada that I tea dyed. Look at my knitting. I love their Santas. I am mad at myself that I put smack dab in the middle because <laughs> I probably could fit at least one more Santa right here. I don't think I could do it on top. Uh, you know what? I might be able to fit one on top too. Now I look at it. It's going to be a little close because it is higher up. But I'm fairly certain I could fit another Santa here. Mother hell! I could definitely fit two Santas on it if I turn it. You're allowed to turn fabric. <laughs> so yeah, so maybe I'm over. pretty sure I can fit a Santa. <sighs> Get them might be kind of tight on top. Either way, I could fit at least one, possibly two more Santas on this, which I'm happy about because I like to have my Santas um, to group them and have them on similar fabric in groupings. And I like to have the brownie greenish color. And they're all on Ada. I will not say Aida. I think that's how you say it. Because I will never remember to say it. And I'll never say it come out right. Born and raised calling it Ada. <laughs> so. I love my Santas. And then. My next finish is. I finished the cereal sal. From 4th. Circle Studios. This is on 18 Count Ada again. Uh, nope, I lied. I did not lie. It is 18 Count Ada on um, Blood Splatter by Stitch Life. Let me fold it. So the last one was Dahmer, and that's the Polaroid. And there are three bonus patterns. Uh, one is for the Aqua Tafana, Tafano, Gacy, and the, his name's Keys, a rave. Shit, I can't remember. The tool, no, Toy Box Killer. But I don't have a way to easily fit those three on there. Plus, two of them I'm not very familiar with. And Gacy, as fascinating as he is, it's a creepy clown. 
So I don't need that in my life. So, and I think I have a fair amount on the bottom that I could do something else uh, at some point. No idea. I wish I'd started it again. More on top, because then I'd have more blood splatter, because and I would have wasted less fabric. Live and learn. But I have no idea how I'm going to finish it. I was thinking of getting a white frame and then just splattering some red paint on it. I mean, I can find a real cheap white frame and do that. If I don't like it, just repaint it something else and use it for something else. So I don't know. Yeah, there, there it is. And I did, I don't know if you'll remember, there were little dots on the side of Bundy and Bathory. And then there were some on some other random ones that I didn't do. And then those were dots were on Dahmer too. And they meant absolutely nothing. They were just the fun little things she added to confuse us and be different. And I didn't like that not all of them had it. So I went and ripped them out of the Bundy and Bathory and didn't put them on the Dahmer, obviously. But uh, one sal done for the year. That's what happens when you lose a lot of weight. <laughs> Anyways, pull that down. And that doesn't say the Beatles on it, though I do love the Beatles. That's my mom's favorite group. It says the Beagles. Okay. So, third finish is just the monthly sal of the uh, Jeanette Douglas bouquet sal, the uh, mini bouquet sal. This is on 32 Count Lagana in Old West by Color and Cotton, and I finished March, which is tulips, which, well, I can't say it looks a lot like tulips. I can kind of see it. Look how cute that is. I recently watched someone, I can't remember who it was now, who said how their stitching style had changed over the years, like recently. And mine must be changing too, because in the past, just a sampler of monthly flowers and vases, wouldn't have really caught my attention. But now I just absolutely love it and think it's so beautiful. Again, there's still no outer border. At this point, I'm not sure I'll even do one. But if I do, I'm pretty sure I'll do it in a green and not the white. But you never know. I may try white and see how it looks. I don't know. But yeah. So my other, only other sals, stitching sals I have going for the, so far are the That Which Does Not Kill Us, which I'm not keeping up with at all. I'm just doing it whenever I want to. And the ABC Dinosaurs by Clouds Factory. I have not started that yet because I was totally focusing on uh, the Santa and this next finished object. I finished, like literally just about an hour ago, I finished Snails and Leaves by Stinchy, StitchyPrincessEtsy.com. She is one of the Ukraine... Um, Designers on Etsy. I bought a bunch of her patterns. This was my favorite. The colors on the picture, not quite the same. Like this dark yellow is more orangey in the picture. It's more yellow in life. The lighter orange is harder to see in person. I don't care. I'm fine with it. I think mine's adorable. And I love it. And it is for uh, the hashtag Stitch for Ukraine, stitching uh, designs by Ukrainian designers. And um, I know Stitchy Princess are having a sal of her patterns. I never got a chance to post mine as a sal because I started it and I just, it was so fun to stitch. It was so easy. And then there's so, it's like little motifs, like I finished, you know, Pleasure. And I was like, oh, it's like, it's like a little mini fish. So I do a cute little snail. And like my goal is I just kept wanting to do the cute little snails. I never thought I'd be a snail person, but they are freaking cute. I use all the calls for colors except for the actual snail. I switched out to the General Arts 
it's a limited edition colorway. I have no idea where I got it from, so there's no name. But the snail body color for DMC blended in too much with my fabric. And this really does look very snaily to me. <laughs> and it's on 18 count Ada that I coffee dyed, which I did not realize until I usually tea dye. I didn't realize tea dye came out darker than coffee. You would think coffee would be darker. At least I would think. But I think it turned out really cute. That lighting's probably doing nothing for the... Nothing for it. But yeah, so that was... Shoot, when did I start? I started, it took me like six days to stitch this. And one day I barely touched it. It was super quick. I would start another one of her patterns to keep up with the stitch along, but I have so much other stuff I want to do and I still have a Stitch Asia project I need to start and work on. So, you know, anyways, but, but because I was focusing on that so much and finishing my Santa, I didn't get started on the, um, this month's dinosaurs and I will get those done and I still need to do my half a block on Black and Sky. So those are my... three those are my three plans is the after this is the clouds factory sal stitch asia piece which is gonna be the bunny that one this is stitch asia piece my camera's like kind of maybe i made my camera's dirty I feel like I have a halo, like I'm glowing. But, um, that, that, and then my half block and black is guy. Okay. And then, so, those were my whips and my finishes. The only other thing I worked on was I started the, um, Sunflower for Ukraine by Quiet Play. The, um, little mini quilt, little, like I was going to do three, make like a runner out of them, but. I don't have enough browns. So I started that. It's a uh, foundation paper piecing. So here's half of it started. I got the, well, I haven't finished. Wow, I thought I sewed some. I thought I had more done. I thought I sewed them. I just put the fabrics and the pieces together for that half, but then I was able to do half of it. So. Let me lay it out for you. I'll show you. E, D, C, alphabet backwards, B and A. I don't think A is going to fit on here. But C, you'll be, you know what? I did that so poorly, you guys. I don't know why I put up with me. That's my concentration phase. But see, so then you'll sew those together, and that's the top half of the um, sunflower. And then I'll do the same with all this, and it'll be the bottom half. Sew those together, and then sew those pieces together. And it'll be a cute little sunflower. I love that fabric. Yeah. That's really all I did, other than I ironed a bunch of fabric from a son's quilt to cut out. Now she's sitting there, being ignored. That's it for what I've been doing, you guys. I do have some haul. I got my fabric of the month for, what was last month? What's this month? <laughs> February from Bestitch Me. So look away if you don't want to see. I'm in the um, neutrals right now. And I get 36 count linen. And it's not my favorite neutral because it tends on the yellow side and I don't really like that. But that being said, it's it's a good neutral. I mean, all I can use is this for a lot of stuff. So I'm ha very happy to have it. I wouldn't pick it out on the website. I wouldn't buy it on purpose. But that's part of why I'm glad that I'm in this club is because I'm getting things I wouldn't pick out, but I know I will use.
Plus your fabric just feels so nice. I think after a few months of 36 count neutral, I might go to like a Lugana. I don't have a lot of uh, even weaves and I prefer Lugana over Jobelin. Jobelin, sorry. I think that's right, Jobelin. Let's see what else. I bought another pattern from a Ukrainian designer. She has mainly Biscornus. I don't make Biscornus. I think they're beautiful. I don't think I have the patience for them. But she had one wave Biscornu, and then I noticed she had the wave and a pattern, so I had to have it because I think it's so pretty. And I want to put it in a hoop that's painted blue. It is wave by Trina Mastakova, Fireplace Hobby on Etsy. It'd be great to put on my wall in the summer. blue frame so I got that um, and then I caved I caved so hard you guys <sighs> I bought the Ruby Star Society Stay Gold Fat Quarter Bundle oh. I'm a little ashamed of myself I didn't need it God knows when I'll start the quilt I have my son's quilt and another quilt I want to quilt do before I even think about this. But look, it was so pretty. And okay, this is the this is the pattern. And I have the panel with all the gorgeous fun inserts. And I kept telling myself I don't need the coordinating fabric. I can use any fabric I want. I can do anything I want. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. And then I went and bought it. Because it's so pretty. I mean, look, I don't know how to spread that out. I don't want to unravel them because I don't want to fold, I don't want to fold them up, I'm lazy. But you know, look how pretty those are. Look at those blues in there. Oh, look at that blue and green. Look at that pink. Oh, look at this yellow. Oh my God. Look at this butterflies, you guys. Oh, oh. 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 Sounds like unhappy sounds, but they're like, oh my God, they're so pretty sounds. I hit my mouse, ignore that. Sorry about that. So that's my haul. I did order one pattern from Market. Market really wasn't calling my calling to me this time. Not a lot of stuff I want to stitch three things. The Moons of 2022 by Kathy Barrick, the Corgi Caboodle by Plum Street Samplers, and then Imaginary, oh, Inglewood, Imagine, Ingleside Imaginarium. They had a, I believe it was a sal of like a Greek, Grecian urn with like um, mythical creatures on it. Those are the only three that really called to me. I for sure will do the Moons. I ordered the corgis because that's my daughter's favorite dog. And when I showed her, she said I had to stitch it for her. And then I'm not sure if I'll actually ever order or stitch the um, Ingleside one. I love it, but it's a lot of black. A lot of red. It's a lot of two colors, but it's very neat. So that and the moon one, I'm like, I'll order down the line. I don't need them. But the corgi one, my daughter's like, yes, I want it now. So <laughs> that's coming from Fire, fire Poppies. So I'm looking forward to getting that. What else? Not a lot going on, you guys. I told you it's gonna be short. I stuck to pretty much just a couple things. Oh, my doggy's stretching. Um, so I guess we'll jump to life. I had my iron infusion. That went really well. They um, give you a 15 minute dose to make sure, and then you wait for an hour and then make sure you don't have any bad effects from it. And uh, then after that, they give you in your IV some medicines, they give you Tylenol, Benadryl, and then they give you um, the infusion, the big one that takes about an hour. And then you sit for an hour afterwards, make sure everything's good and then you get to go home. I was already tired when I got there because it's about an hour, 45 minute drive from here to Columbus. So I had my stitching, I worked on my Santa a little bit, 
watched a little bit, watched some podcasts, realized I stupidly did not charge my phone and I didn't have a charger with me. So I had to stop because my phone was almost dead and I needed my GPS to at least get me, once I'm out of central Columbus, I'm fine getting home. I need that GPS to get my butt out. So once the 15 minute one was up and the hour waiting was up, I was getting a little bored and tired and I was not stitching very much. And then they hit me with Benadryl. Holy crap. I can't remember the last time I took Benadryl. I don't know if it's because it went directly into my veins and I've lost a lot of weight and my body handles things differently, but I was nearly knocked out immediately. She put it in my arm. It burned a little bit. I said, is it supposed to burn like that? She said, let me flush it a little bit. She flushed it. She said, how's it feel? And I said, it doesn't burn anymore. And then instantly I was like, groggy. I could hear myself slurring words. <laughs> and I told her, I said, I need to go to sleep. So I just, I didn't even put anything away. I just took my stitching and I threw it on the floor, on my purse, on the floor. She got me a blanket and I passed out. I woke up once so she could take my blood pressure and uh, told her how sleepy I was. And she said, well, the, um, the infusion takes an hour and then you wait an hour. She said, you should be fine. You should, it'll wear off and you'll be not sleepy on your drive home. I don't remember half my drive home. Like there is a city you drive through halfway between Columbus and my house called Zanesville. I don't remember driving through Zanesville. I was past Zanesville and I got to about a town called, um, a city called Cambridge. And I was like, when did I go through, when did I go through Zanesville? If I ever need another iron infusion, I'm going to have to make sure my husband or one of my kids comes to drive me home because holy crap, that Benadryl knocked my ass out. And I joked that that's a drug I could, I could get addicted to. If I could shoot myself with Benadryl every night and pass out, oh, that was such a good nap I had. Oh, if I could just slip a couple more hours. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. So other than that, you know, I got home. Things were good. The next day, um, I didn't honestly know I was so tired. Um, until the next day when I went to work and when I woke up, I wasn't as tired. And throughout the day, I didn't yawn as much. And um, I feel like I had more energy. So I feel like pretty, pretty quickly it's helped. And of course, I've, I've up my iron supplements. Um, to hopefully keep my iron up now that I've got that boost from the infusion. But I didn't, you get so used to living a certain way that you don't realize there was a problem. I didn't realize I was that tired. They'd ask me like, are you tired? I'm like, no, not really, not more than usual. Cause my usual had been to be tired. So yeah, so it went well, I felt good. No um, ill effects during or after. I would love to take Benadryl every night to go to bed if I could shoot into my veins. Oh, oh, such a good sleep. Other than that, same old, same old, you know, going to work, doing my thing. Um, tomorrow, my son and I are going to uh, Flashback Cinema is showing Casa Casablanca. So we're going to watch Casablanca. I haven't watched that in years. Um, I was trying to explain to him the movie and I told him it's probably going to be one of the older movies, oldest movies he's seen with me. And, you know, he'll go even if there's just promise of popcorn. He doesn't care really what it's showing. And he ends up liking the most movies anyway, so it works out well. But I told him, I said, you know, you've heard for, you've heard famous lines from it. You know, here's looking at you, kid, uh, play it again, Sam, that kind of thing. And uh, he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I kind of recognize that. I'm like, this movie has a lot of famous lines, and it'll be fun. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, other than that, not much going on, you guys. Living my best life. <laughs> I am. I'm living my best life. Things are good. Things are okay. Um, everyone here is good. Wow, I really have nothing else to say. My life's kind of boring. Could be worse, though. I mean, could be a lot worse. You watch the news and things could be a lot worse. It breaks your heart to read some of the stuff that's going on. So, support the people you can any way you can. I'm sorry. Ignore everything I said if you want. Just come for the stitching. It's pretty. Oh my god, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go now. Bye!
Bye. My little remote's not working. Goodbye.